YouTube, Mike here again, and I wanted to show you ways to make your iPad Air more productive. And uh, of course there is a jailbreak required, but I managed to use a Bluetooth mouse, a Bluetooth keyboard, and a stylus all at the same time. All three connect at the same time, and it works uh, pretty darn good. So it's ways you can make your iPad actually a laptop replacement. So it is possible, and this actually works quite well, so I'll demo this for you now. Thanks. What's up YouTube, Mike here again. And again, I wanted to show you the demonstration of how you can use your iPad as an actual laptop replacement. As you can see, I've got a Bluetooth mouse here. This is nothing fancy, it's an HP mouse. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard from a Gen 3 iPad, I think, but it still works. And then I have the Jot Touch Note stylus. All three of these are Bluetooth and they're currently all three connected. And then just want to show you, you can see the mouse here on the screen, hopefully. Uh, the scroll wheel actually works, so if I want to check out the rest of the apps, it's pretty neat. Or you can actually click and drag and get your apps that way. And another good jailbreak I recommend that you use while you're doing this is called App Heads. And as you can see, I've got little app heads open here. And this is a quick way to multitask. But first, the first thing you're going to need to do, obviously, for jailbreaking, this is you're going to have to download Tai G. And if you want to know how to do that, it's pretty simple. There is a fellow YouTuber called Everything Apple Pro. I'll include a link in the description to his page, but he's got everything you ever want to know about jailbreaking. But you're going to have to go to the Cydia store, and the app you're going to need, as I'm going to show you here, is called. Uh, yeah, right here. BTC Mouse and Trackpad. This is a paid app from the Cydia store. I think it was less than five bucks, but it's 100% worth it because again, this allows you to use a mouse and a keyboard at the same time. There's other apps that are free that allow you just to use a mouse, but this one allows you to use both. And again, as you can see, I'm using app heads. It's just a quick way to um, multitask. But I want to show you a little demonstration here in Microsoft Word. Double tap this. Get this thing to open here. Oh, there it is. Anyway, as you can see, here's my mouse and just a quick demo. It's hard to type when I'm behind the camera. But this is. So, as you can see, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse at the same time. So, I mean, really, you could totally replace your laptop with this. It's a lot more uh, compact, pretty simple solution. And of course, you know, it can't do everything, but if you're one that lives in the cloud and you just need Microsoft Office basic word processing, this will 100% work. So as you can see, uh, this is working along with the mouse, which this is the main reason I wanted to jailbreak my device was for because I just kind of hate using my finger when I'm trying to do something this way I can be a lot more precise so you know it goes where I want the cursor to go and so if I want to select you know I can drag it copy and we'll come I don't know let's go down here and we'll paste that rig Oh, wrong one. And paste. So there's a little bit of learning curve, but as you see, it works well. Um, so let me close that out. So we'll close that. Another cool thing is the scroll wheel. It's actually working within the iPad, which is pretty cool. And again, you can totally navigate either using your app heads or a right click. It takes me to the home, I double right click. <clears throat> it shows me all the apps I have open and then left click works as it should. I click on what I want. So it works well, as you can see, and it's a pretty simple solution. And just a little bonus I wanted to show you. Here's good notes. Like I said, I've got a keyboard connected, I've got a mouse connected and I've got a stylus. And as you can see, it's working just fine. And for whatever reason, uh, I've been having issues because as you, you probably saw, I did an Adonit Jot Touch review. And this seems actually 
to drop the signal a lot less when I have multiple things connected to the iPad. I don't know why that is, but it's actually working as it should while I have two other things connected. So I don't know why, but um, it's working as advertised right now. It's hard to write behind this, but as you can see, it's working fairly, fairly good. So hopefully that helped you again. You got to use Tai G to jailbreak it. Um, everything Apple Pro is a fellow YouTuber. I'll put his link to his page down below if you want to jailbreak. But I highly recommend it. This is how you can get the full potential from your iPad. Um, I wish Apple would allow you to do this without having it. You can totally do this on an Android device. See the scroll wheel's working. Um, but for whatever reason, to do it on an iPad, you have to jailbreak it. But hopefully that helps you out. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe.